So the project is called Curious Cures in Cambridge Libraries and it has been funded by a Research Resources Awards grant from the Wellcome Trust. And the um, objective of the project is to catalogue, digitise um, and conserve approximately 180 medieval manuscripts in Cambridge Libraries that contain medical recipes. The project will also transcribe the text of those recipes we know where they are in the manuscripts roughly, we don't quite know how many there are, but we think about 8,000. The focus of the project on um, medical manuscripts, medieval medical recipes, chimes with the health and well-being strand um, of this um, research initiative. Recipe material provides brilliant insights into medieval medical culture. It takes you very close to the patient-practitioner interaction, but they're quite difficult for researchers to access and analyse. The recipes themselves are also very variable and mutable, so you might have any number of different recipes for toothache, which all start the same way, but which use a different combinations of ingredients or different preparatory techniques. And it's those sorts of subtleties and variations that we're trying to capture in this uh, project. All of the digital images that we'll be producing of the manuscripts, together with the detailed descriptions um, that the catalogues will be producing and the transcriptions of the recipes, will all be published on the Cambridge Digital Library. So they'll be accessible to researchers across the world, anybody with an internet connection who wants to take a look at them. So for instance, here we have um, what is very much a, a homemade compilation of medical recipes. So it contains a variety of different recipes for biting of an adder uh, and it says take lily root and pound it and drink it uh, for canker in a woman's breast, for the migraine, for the falling evil um, or the morbo caduco in its Latin name uh, that may be epilepsy, bad breath, uh, for trembling hands, uh, for toothache. So there's a whole range of, of remedies for um, you know, day-to-day -day as well as more serious complaints. Medical recipes are very relatable. They deal with the kinds of ailments that we still suffer with today. Headaches, migraines, diarrhea, sores, boils, cancers, that kind of thing. But they're also a reminder of the pain and precarity of medieval life. There's recipes for rankled wounds, uh, worms that eat the eyelids. So we're dealing with a, a, a time where there weren't anaesthetics um, as we would know them now, there aren't antibiotics as we would know them now. The insights that that can provide into the way in which people lived um, and survived and sought to manage and monitor their health I think is very revealing of medieval life and culture more generally. Yes, it's very exciting to be, to be working on this project. And it's going to be shedding light on a really important part of our collection that is heavily used by researchers, but which I think isn't particularly well known more, more generally, and I would suspect is not known about by the general public, but which nevertheless contains lots of really intriguing and interesting material.